Hi, Corey Hi. Kelly. Hi. How are you? Really good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks for having us over on the Christmas Eve. It was oh, fun. Oh, that was good. Yeah, it was good times. <laughs> I'm glad you came. We didn't have any quinoa that night. No. No. Oh, you might people, have. Some people said to me, those, um, you know, a couple of men I was talking to yesterday oh, yeah. didn't know what quinoa was. Quinoa, and, Corey. Yeah. So what is quinoa, Corey? So quinoa <laughs> is a, it's often called a grain. Yeah. I said it, it was a grain. It's actually a seed. It's a seed. Yes, it's a seed. It's not a grain at all. And it is, what it, here's what it looks like when you're purchasing it in the store. This is typically what you're going to see is the white quinoa. Right. It also comes in red and black. Um, right. They all have a very similar flavor. They're kind of, they're mild, mild. It's like you would use this in place of rice or couscous. Right. Um, and uh, it's a mild flavor, a little bit nutty and quite delicious. Um, how you cook quinoa is that you want to make sure that you rinse it well um, under under cold water right. until it runs clear. A lot of uh, the product that you'll buy now is already pre-rinsed, so you don't have to worry, but just as a, a precaution. Well, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Why do I want to eat this? Well, because it's a superfood in that oh. it is a complete protein. It has all the essential amino, amino acids, like as if you were going to eat a steak, you can eat quinoa. Okay, so it's great for vegans. It's great. Um, it's also easily digested. Mm. It's gluten-free, uh -huh. which is a hot topic right now. Yes. Um, a lot of people have food sensitivities they're not even aware of. Um, I The reason this recipe for the quinoa crackers came about is that I had to go off all, all gluten, you all did. dairy, all that stuff. So I was, I was prescribed a therapeutic recipe. Is that where this all started? That's how it started. And so I was given a recipe and... Um, then you turn it into I a... I didn't love the flavor. It wasn't really delicious. So I made some flavor out of it and ate this in place of bread. Now and you've got a product on the market that people can buy. Yeah, but what happened to me when I was eating um, a lot of quinoa and a lot of, you know, a lot of these gluten-free grains was that my skin changed. I was never hungry. I felt like you just feel like a fog is lifted. I can't explain it, but it's uh, it was a, a kind of a, like a life changer for me. Yeah. And so I'm kind of, a, I love quinoa. I also will still have the foods that I'm not really supposed to eat, but I notice, I understand is now. Right? I just, you kind of need to educate yourself a little bit. So mm. quinoa, when you're cooking it, you rinse it and you're gonna cook it just like rice. One cup of quinoa to one and a half cups of water. Gotcha. You're gonna put it, the lid on, bring it to a boil, reduce and simmer for 12 minutes, uh -huh. take it off the heat, yeah. and then you fast forward. Then you get this. Ta-da! You can see when it's cooked, you can see there's like a little ring that kind of comes up around it. It's, yeah. It's delicious. You fluff it with a fork, and you can use this if you're making sushi. You can use it instead of rice. Um, I basically have cooked quinoa in my fridge all the time, a big bowl like this, and I will just pick about a half a cup of quinoa. I would throw some spinach pop it in the microwave with some tomato sauce, and that is so delicious. What? And so good. Um, so part just of, like that? Just like that. So we're back to clean eating. We're into the new year. We want healthy. We want all this. So quinoa is really an important food. And if you have this in your fridge ready to go, there's so much you can do with it. So one thing I'm going to show you yes. is um, a smoothie, a yeah. chocolate quinana Let's go. we got smoothie. 90 seconds. I know. It's okay. only going to take that we're long. We're talking too much. So basically, we're going to put in half a banana. Right some cocoa powder, which is low glycemic index, so you're like not getting any too. of the sugar added with it yet. All that. Yeah, all that. And we're going to put in um, try this one. some honey. This is almond milk. So again, this is like a plant-based kind of high protein and delicious. You might not be able to get that out, I'm thinking. <laughs> and then the cooked quinoa. And believe it or not, I tried this on a bunch of 13-year-old boys that came over for lunch. Did you? Yep. And every one of them liked it. Every one of them. And I kind of thought I was going to have to go back to the drawing board a few times, but mm -hmm. guess what? I didn't. So after you work out, before you work out, my kids are always asking and people ask me, what do, what do I feed my kid before hockey, after hockey, after sports? Yeah. You, need, you need to rehydrate. You need protein to rebuild muscle. Mm -hmm. You need energy. Quinoa has fiber. It has protein. It has iron. It has good B vitamins. Yeah. So this is like the perfect little thing. Somebody, I made this too, and they're like, that would be good with peanut butter. So peanut butter, chocolate, banana. Natural peanut butter. Banana or almond butter, you know, any of those things. Nut butter. Nut butter. If you use a frozen banana, it's going to give you a nice creamy frozen. You could throw a couple ice cubes in here. So this isn't going to be super cold, but it's going to be delicious. And you can blend it up more as well. Look at you in the mason and jar. The mason jar is super fun. I know. I love You can get them with handles this. now. Yeah, you can. can. I try and this? apparently there's lids that you can get now that you can put the straw right through. They're taking uh, on that. the go. Yeah. Yeah, please try that. Even martini glasses in mason jars. Oh, God. I saw them the other day. Oh. <laughs>
So nobody else drink from this. this I'm is, a sick man. He's not, he's, we're fixing him up. It detoxifies the quinoa as well. It detoxifies the liver. Mm. It has all kinds of antioxidants in it. I know a few fellows who could use some detoxification right now. Well, who would they be? Yeah. <laughs> you know them. I think a lot of people are feeling that way right now. Guy though. holding camera. <laughs> um, we're going to do a little more later, right? Yeah, I'm going to show you these triple quinoa cookies. Yeah. Uh, we're going to make some trail mix and a quinoa salad on the go. Just like so that. this is kind of ideas to go quick and easy and take it with you. We could talk about your crackers too if you want. Well, okay. we could do that. We'll make a trail mix with my crackers. All right.